Every now and again, you go on YouTube and you find something that is inspiring, something that is close to home, something that hits you in the spark of imagination and causes you to think outside of the box when it pertains to making an income. So when I was scrolling up and down YouTube, I found this video and immediately I thought, yo, the future millionaires who are subscribed to this channel would definitely want to watch this with me because as I heard the topic, as I saw the title, immediately it sparked some inspiration and it was relatable so we're going to be reacting to the video how I made hundred and seventeen thousand K a year cooking Jamaican food on the side so sit down grab some curry chicken some jerk chicken some stewed beef some fried chicken rice and peas <laughs> and let us watch this video I couldn't envision a career in cooking I didn't see that hey you could actually make a living off of your talent. I was always taught, get good grades, behave in school, get a degree, get a good job with a pension, and you'll live happily ever after. <laughs> yeah, man, not at the start of school for everybody. That is the thing, you have to go to school. I don't have anything against school. I just have things against choosing the right courses and courses that actually make you money. But Get a degree, be successful, and look pleasing to society, and don't stray from the status quo. That is one thing that they try to ingrain in us, but hey, nothing wrong with that. If it worked for you, it worked for you. But I am one of those persons who think that people should just go with their passion and see if they can monetize it. My name is Helena Faustin. I'm 35 years old. I'm from Freeport, New York. I am a NICU nurse and my side hustle made $117,000 in 2021. Here is Callaloo and this is Jamaica's national dish, ackee and saltfish. As a personal fave, I prefer fried dumpling or festival. And last but not least, we have fried plantain. Festival, them look decent. I'm gonna put something out there and many people might cancel me over this, but I am not a fan of ackee and sawfish. I like ackee, I just don't like sawfish. So I'm one of those persons who eat the ackee by itself. So I'm gonna just get past that. The plant look good and the festival look good, so she'll go on with her thing too. I also love Kalalu, but you know, I'll eat it. In 2018, Helena started sharing food pictures on Instagram with her friends and family. About a year later, she decided to take food blogging more seriously and spent around $700 to officially launch her business. And that all went to groceries, a ring light, and a tripod because you not only have to just buy the food you're going to cook, you also have to buy the props to stage it as well. Invest in your craft because you never know where it will lead you. We are using the social media wrong. We should be using social media to monetize talent or learn talent and just monetize it. But we prefer just scroll through daydream and all them things and then make them rich off away. You know, we really need to screw on our heads and learn this thing. I am gonna turn my kitchen into my studio. So I literally work out of my kitchen in my home. Not only does Helena manage all aspects of her business, but she also juggles her job as a NICU nurse. I've been a registered nurse for 12 years now. I work in the ICU, and more specifically, I take care of neonates and infants who were born with congenital heart disease. Helena earned up to $126,000 a year working as a full-time nurse. I work 12-hour shifts 13 times a month. Same sister, same. I <laughs> work the same 12 hour shifts, sometimes 14, 15 times a month, or even more than that. So I know what you're going through. Just can't relate with the income though, because you're making a lot of money. That's a lot of bread, $120,000 on one job. But on your side hustle, you're making 117. Yo, you ball girl. You make a lot of money. You're balling. She says working during the pandemic was extremely difficult. The most challenging part was leaving my family. Like everyone's at home sheltering and you're literally going out to fight a war. And it was really during that year where I really decided that I have to go even harder with my business. I always have this theory that why persons don't really succeed in their side hustles or their side business is because they have a stable job that is keeping them comfortable. 
not bashing jobs. Jobs are great. Jobs can help you get to where you want in life and get, jobs can give you fulfillment. But the comfort of a job can make you not want to achieve your dreams or going after your dreams. So when the pandemic came and, and it gave her that turning point, that, that drive to seek something more and to spend more time with her family, I guess that was a catalyst that said, yo, I had to push hard in this Instagram cooking thing because who knows, she might be the next Miss Maisie on Grace Kitchens. I am first generation Jamaican. I grew up in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, surrounded by a plethora of Caribbean influence. Helena developed a passion for cooking at a young age. Growing up, her mother often sent her off to buy ingredients like scotch bonnet, garlic, and browning. The good things, them. Um, the Jamaican food, <laughs> the good spices and herbs. Yeah, money make anything taste better. No, make anybody tell her nothing different. That's why we KFC tastes better. At age 15, she was inspired to cook and learned by watching her mother. My mom, she didn't always have the patience to teach and it was kind of challenging because they don't cook with measurements. So I would say, how much garlic powder should I put? And she would literally look at me and say, use your judgment. Yo. <laughs> Relatable. This is how Jamaicans cook. This is how I cook. You just throw on take up season and throw on take up season until you feel the spirit. Say, that is enough bread drain. <laughs> but yo, this is as Jamaican as it gets. The axle for measurement, the axle what we use, just throw. And if it tastes good and look good and smell good, and they do good. My mom is super Jamaican. When I told her I was not going to grad school, I think she aged 10 years. <laughs> she was like, what do you mean you're not going to, you mean you're not going to grad school and you're going to cook? Really it, because when I was in university and I was in third year or fourth year, I said, yo, mommy, can't bother with this. Yo, yeah, mom, you need to continue school. Like Jamaican parents, that is the only path. Yo, you have to finish school. Like, nothing else no matter. But when she started seeing the money coming in, then she was like, oh, hmm, I think you might be onto something here. <laughs> when I first started this side hustle, I legit was so passionate about seeing my dreams come true that I did not stop. I literally worked every single day that I was not working at the hospital. I'm on email, I'll be looking over contracts. I'm also thinking and brainstorming content ideas. Aside from groceries, I don't really incur a lot of expenses. Like, we, I want to adapt that mentality. I want to work even harder than I am right now. It's like, I'm an evening person, so even when I get up early, it's like hard to start. But once I do start, it's like I go late up in the night, late, late, late up in the night. But that hard working ethic, we really need it. Like, leave from our primary job, come home and then jump straight into our second job and still be able to manage our family time. So I guess that's what I need to practice a lot, time management and working off of a schedule. My equipment is stable. I only need to replace it if it breaks. She spends around $600 a month on groceries for her business. Sometimes I go to the grocery store with pure vibes, no list, just vibes. <laughs> she said, no, at least just vibes. Supermarket, just vibes, just buy things. Yeah, man, she, she can't fit in, man. We app me, I approve her. Yeah, man, she's she, she more Jamaican than even me if you ask me to box that. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I like, I like, I like that. And you can see she's doing her vlogging or she's doing her, her Instagram capturing or her food tutorials with just her phone and a tripod. So you don't need a big, pretty expensive camera and lights like like what I have. I am just kind of obsessed with, with trying to maintain quality, but you don't need all of that. Like, look what she's doing. I walk through the aisle and I let the food speak to me. Yes, would you like some oxtail this evening? And I say, Rich. oh, let me grab that. Oxtail. Let me grab that and let me grab that. I pretty much end up spending a ridiculous amount of money on groceries per month. Well, I guess the return on, on investment is good. My side hustle created three streams of income. The first one was from ad revenue. I collected $7,500 from that. The second was from brand collabs and I made 
$40,000 off of that. And the most lucrative stream of income was my eBooks and I made $71,000 off of that. So let me go back, let me go back. So you guys see, or you guys saw how she monetized her content. So first of all, YouTube ad revenue is going to pay her per 1,000 views. She get a lot of eyeballs, so brands want to reach out with her. So she do a lot of brand collaborations, something that I'm looking into getting into. So if you guys want to work with me, I'm always free, shoot me an email. And then she has another monetization aspect, which is creating ebook because she already knows what she's doing. Even if she doesn't know a lot and she's not a master chef, she enjoys what she's doing and other people enjoys what she is also doing. So they want to support her. They want to try her recipe. So they buy her ebook. So ebook, brand collaboration and ads. She can even go even further than that and do a website with blogging and can get paid traffic with ads also. So yo, she, she can monetize a lot, but those three right now are giving her a lot of income. Ebooks and I made $71,000 off of that. Helena released two ebooks in 2020 and 2021. One has her premium dishes with some of her cooking secrets, and the other has 15 30 minute recipes. In total, she made about $117,000 from her side hustle in 2021 and says she's just getting bop, started. Bop, bop, bop. June of 2021 was an explosive month for my side hustle. Between some lucrative brand collabs that came through and an amazing Father's Day sale that shattered expectations. We pulled in $25,000 in one month. Helena's biggest brand deal to date brought in $7,000. You do not have $7,000 brand, brand deal from who? Let me see something. Shy Ninja Philadelphia cream cheese. So she gets from Walker's Wood. Shark something else I remember on Philadelphia cream cheese. Yo, she has some good sponsors. That's that's good. I, I really me, me inspired. I like not have to either sit behind a computer or walk into a traditional nine to five in order to have the life that you want. If you have a talent, harness that talent, learn as much as you can from it, and monetize that thing. Monetize that yeah, man. I said the Jamaican word, but yeah man. Have a talent. If you don't have a talent, you learn something and you monetize it. But I really hope that I am getting to a point where I live life on my terms. And if I do want to do something nursing related, then I have that choice. If this story helps someone and says, you know what? I can get up and I can do it. Listen, I did it as a registered nurse working through a pandemic with a husband, a house, and children so if i did it you can do it too i love this video honestly there are so many lessons to learn from what she is doing there's so much to share like i'm gonna have to watch this a second time or just keep watching it for inspiration but i love this video and i love what she is doing and i think a lot of us out here can adopt that principle we have a lot of things that we can do we have a lot of unique things with brand jamaica we can do so much with promoting jamaica because other people abroad doing it look in amsterdam or one of those european countries they have a beer that's called bbc beer and you know what bbc mean already but we shun it and if it cuts it out of the road, the police lock us up. Like we need to market the brand. We need to push brand Jamaica so much, so far, so much possibility and potential is in this. Thank you guys for watching and I really like videos like this. And sometimes I'll just put them in here and there because they give me certain inspiration and motivation and I hope it does the same for you guys. So if you like it, please like, share and subscribe and just continue to support us on this channel. Until then, future millionaires, happy investing.